I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I have to take a massive shit. So I'm gonna be right back. Y'all entertain yourselves. Play the, play the intro. Yeah. All right, I'm back. So today I'm gonna be opening up a new segment on this channel called Should You Read? I've been reading a lot of manga lately. So I decided why not include other people in the conversation and see if they want to read this. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I do read a lot of manga more so than I watch anime. So it's a lot easier for me to read a manga and get engaged in it than it is for me to sit down, commit to watching anime on the television, then come back, take my notes and all that other shit. You know, I don't want to do that because I'm a lazy bitch. That doesn't mean I don't like this doing this shit. It just means I'm a lazy fuck. But reading manga comes quicker and is a lot more fun and engaging for me rather than watching it on the television. So I'll be doing these small segments and hopefully you guys enjoy them. Let me know in the comments below. So the manga we're going to be talking about is Shumatsu no Valkyrie, Record of Ragnarok. To be honest, I slept on this. A couple of my friends recommended that I read it and I just kind of said, no, nah, I, don't, I don't fucking feel like it. So no. Which I regret right now, but I've caught up. So <laughs> it's a pretty good shit. The creators of this manga are three individuals whose names I can't pronounce. I'm going to say their first names, Takumi, Shinya, and Chika. I can't pronounce their names because I'm fucking stupid, but I will leave them on the screen for you to look at. Sexy, aren't they? Get ready, boys and girls, because the captain's going to try to explain the story, and he's not too good at it, so let's get it popping. Every 1,000 years, the gods from all pantheons hold a convention determining whether or not humanity is worth keeping alive or curb stomping them into oblivion like a New Yorker with some Tims on. These conventions are held by Zeus of the Greek pantheon. Now, Zeus is asking everyone around saying, hey, do we allow humans to live? Do we kill them off? What do y'all think? And most of the gods, of course, say, no, we don't want humans to live anymore. We think they're inferior, they're disgusting, they're repulsive, and they've fucked up the earth so badly that we can't really sustain it anymore. Let's evolve a new species. The majority of gods are in agreement with this, and so Zeus goes and says, all right, for sure, I'ma just destroy humanity. While a Valkyrie by the name of Brunhilde, or Brunhild, I can't pronounce your fucking name, steps forward and says, hey, let's not destroy humanity, not yet. Little tidbit about the Valkyries, they are half human, half gods, so of course, due to them not being complete gods, the gods treat them as if they are lower than them. Brunhild decides to reference the Valhalla Constitution, Article Number 62, Paragraph 15 of the Super Special Case, which is a one-on-one -on -one showdown between the gods and mankind's strongest warriors. The gods being gods and said gods being arrogant dickheads look down on this idea saying why would we want to fight humanity, we know we would win. However, Brunhild says, y'all ain't chicken, are you? Which causes the gods to laugh and then get incredibly enraged when someone questioned their godhood, thus issuing the first ever Ragnarok, where humanity will face off against the gods to fight for survival. Now the rules for this are very simple, 13 of humanity's strongest warriors that have ever entered Valhalla versus 13 of the strongest gods available pit together in one-on-one -on -one combat with respective weapons included. This means the stakes are incredibly high as the only way out of these brawls is either through life or death. You cannot quit, you cannot forfeit, you can't run like a little bitch, either you live or you die. Very simple. Now hopefully I did a decent enough job explaining what this manga is even about, but if I didn't I will leave a link to the wiki page in the description below which does a pretty good job summarizing it. I just don't like reading things verbatim, I like to have my own energy with it, and then it sounds like you're in class and you're saying, me 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 me, you know that bullshit. Time for the all important big question. Should you read Shimatsu no Valkyrie, Record of Ragnarok? Yes! You should definitely read Shimatsu no Valkyrie, Record of Ragnarok, for its artwork, for its storytelling, and for its character design. Simple answer. It, it's beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful manga about people getting the shit beat out of them and niggas fighting gods. Like, big, big fella, I'm trying to rock some, some hands with the gods, you know? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to beat that ass. I mean, God, why, why am I living like this? I got my degree and I can't. I know this was a short video and it, it wasn't meant to be a long video. It was something I wanted to just put out to explain that I really do enjoy this manga and I want other people to check it out. That's just me. I, I know some people don't do this shit, but definitely check out Record of Ragnarok. It's, it's a good time. 
Now, before y'all go, I want to say thank you guys for the reception on my Beastars video. I was not expecting that much uh, attention to it. I really thought it would drift into anonymity like everything else. And also, thank you all for 100 subscribers. Uh, it may not seem like a big deal to anyone else, but I definitely did not think I would get to 100 before the end of 2019. So, to me, that is a huge fucking deal. Uh, so, thank you. I'll, I'll try to put out more shit. I'm a piece of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> And if you liked this video, leave a comment. Or if you like Wrecking of Ragnarok, leave a comment. Or if you have any manga recommendations for me, definitely say something. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want, hit that notification bell, that big old ding ding. Uh, that'd be kind of cool too. Also, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash linerzellos. I think that's my Twitter handle. It'll be in the description below. Again, I'll be leaving the wiki page for Wrecking of Ragnarok in the description below as well. Am I missing anything? No, I'm not. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, play the outro. Every 1,000 years, there's a motorcycle outside. That'd be kind of cool too. Hopefully, I did a decent job explaining the story to you guys. And if not, I will leave a description. Fuck. Fuck. No, stop. God damn it. It's so fucking hot in this room. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. I just want to eat my nuggies. Fuck! For me, that's a big yes. But for other people, I can see why they wouldn't want it. Some people don't like just straight brawler manga. Some people don't like watching manga with... Uh, fuck. Watching manga. You're fucking stupid, James! Jesus fucking Christ! Kill yourself! Hey, uh, can everybody shout hey yo to Mrs. Couch Potato? She's in her own world in the state of San Diego. Jobs in 98 oh, her wage of mine is way low. Pop's little girl, but he ain't too proud to say it on. Now I'm saying how the hell I'm gonna stop? Can you